Hey everyone, it's Coach Britt. Um, I figured since everyone's self-isolating and that we are moving right now, that I would make uh, a self-workout video from home uh, just to help you ladies out. So today I want to focus on our abs or our core because our abs are a huge component to our game. Um, you often see those players that play like full games, uh, they never get super tired and they're constantly going. Um, quite frankly, it's kind of annoying. Uh, those players generally have strong, strong abs. Um, because you have strong abs, it allows you to run a lot faster. Um, it allows you to jump higher. It allows you to just keep going. You know that wall that you hit sometimes in a game? Generally, when you have strong abs, because you're constantly breathing and your abs are expanding, you can break through that wall and that's how you keep going. So today I want to focus on uh, just showing you guys a bunch of ab exercises that you can do at home without any equipment um, that will help strengthen your abs. Uh, these exercises will focus on your lower abs, your front abs, and your side obliques, okay? Um, so I'm just going to show you how it looks like. I'm not going to do hundreds of them. Um, if you have any questions, you can always uh, email or text and ask and I can help you the best I can. Um, I'm not a personal trainer, so I don't um, know everything about it, but these are the ones that I used uh, in high school, college, university, and now, and stuff like that. So the first exercise that I'm going to focus on is mountain climbers, and then I'm going to show you variations of it that will hit different ab groups, okay? So the first, the first exercise, you want to go down on your hands and your feet, you want to be flat, and what you're going to do is you're going to raise your leg up, the other one, and you're just going to go like you're climbing the side of a mountain. So you, I usually like to go as quick as I can, like to flip, like that. Um, a variation of the mountain climbers are cross body climbers, and you're going to go like this. So across the body with your legs. Once again, you try to go as quick as you can for about a minute, and then you take a break. Uh, the third variation I'm going to show is spider mounts. So spider mounts are coming out with your leg, kind of like you're crawling, they like spider mount, but you don't touch the ground, so you just go out with your legs. Okay? So these exercises are going to target your front abs and your lower abs. Okay? And then next exercise is called a straight leg raise, and this you guys have probably been in high school or in trials. Uh, this is just go down, like you're doing a sit up, hands beside you, legs don't touch the ground, raise, go back down. If you have a hard time doing that, you can put your hands under your butt and go up again for a raise. Okay? I usually like to do as many as I can until I'm tired and then I take a break. Um, the next one, the next two exercises are going to work on your front abs. So that's a, that's a, one of the bigger groups of abs. Um, and so the first one looks, it's called a knee hug. So it's gonna kind of look like this. I'll do it facing you, and then I'll turn to the side. So you're gonna keep your feet off the ground, right? You can cross them, keep them like this. You're gonna go out, you're gonna spread your arms, and then you're gonna hug. So I kind of just like to do this. You'll feel it um, in your abs, and you'll know which abs it's targeting. Okay, so here's a side view. So once again, just on my butt, legs are up, going out, coming in. So you see how I'm kind of moving back a bit? See, like this versus sitting like this is not really targeting my abs. When I go back and kind of expand, it come up, it does. Okay, and then now we're gonna focus on your obliques. Your obliques are kind of like these side muscles. They kind of move up like this. These are super important because when we are like rebounding, passing, um, overall just even playing defense, uh, if you go to twist your body, that's when you're going to feel your oblique. So these are huge. Okay? So the first one that I like to do are elbow pins. So I'm sure all of you did that. Go down your elbows. I like to hold my hands and then just go like this. And then plank. So you don't want to be like this. And you also don't want to be like this. You want to be kind of, you want to be pretty level here. Um, I like to do these for about a minute. 
or as close as I can get to a minute, I take a break, and then I go back at it again. Um, a good variation of an elbow, elbow plank is a side plank. So now I'm facing the side. If you don't have good balance, you can put your arm up. You can also interchange and go back and forth, right? So now I'm in a regular plank. Now I'm switching. Back up. Plank. Okay? So now I'm going to move into um, a sit-up twist, and then I'm going to go into a Russian twist. So when you're doing a sit-up twist, you're going to sit in your regular sit-up position. I like to try to keep my feet on the mat, so I'm not bringing my feet up. And I'm going to put my hands back, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up, twist. Okay? Now I'm going to go up and twist. Uh, these are hard. Um, I like them because they're difficult. Um, and then the last one, which is absolutely my favorite, is a Russian twist. So I will show you from this way first, and then I will turn to the side. So this one, you're going to go once again on your butt. I like to keep my feet up. You can either cross them like this, and all you're going to do is focus on using those side obliques to bring, to just either do this, or what I like to do is I like to use household things. Um, so right here is the pattern paint. So I'm going to cross my feet. I'm just going to go one, two, three. And I'm just going to move it from side to side. You will feel this in your obliques. If you feel it, then you know you're doing it right. So a side view kind of looks like this. So once again, up on my butt, leg it up, going side, 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 side. Um, you can use lots of different things like a milk jug. You can use, if you have a small dog, you can use your small dog. Uh, you can use lots of different things. Um, that's kind of what I do for abs. That's what I did when I played basketball at different levels. Um, yeah, thought I'd show you a video. Hope everything's going well. Um, I'm bored at home. I can't wait to get out and play basketball again. So uh, let me know if you have any questions.